Howdy, my name is Omia Lent, and this is our Let's Play of EU Forest Conneth. We have been kicked out of Ireland a long time ago by Great Britain, and come to the New World, where we've settled and thrived. We're in a war with the last of the native nations. We are the overlords of the Shawnee. Um, I'm hoping that taking up the Iroquois doesn't give us aggressive expansion. In fact, I think that, that they might consider them... They might cons consider them an enemy? No? No. They don't have any enemies or rivals. Well, earlier on they were considered an enemy and a rival, but I, I guess not anymore. Yeah, taking these provinces... They do have tax base tax of two, and they do have some people that could be profitable, but I just don't, I mean, I, I will eventually probably, but right now it's just not a huge priority. I want to focus in trade zones, and the Hudson Bay is definitely not a trade zone I'm going to focus in. The Chesapeake Bay might be a trade zone. If there's any, if there's any left in the Chesapeake Bay, just, just this one, yeah, just this province is left in the Chesapeake Bay, probably not going to take this one, yeah, even though it's... I guess it's pretty good, it's just not connected to me. It'll, it'll still be in my... It'll still be considered in my... Because um, in North America, my capital's in North America, it'll still tax, not not tariff, but... Yeah, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm skeptical of that one. I, I like to have... I mean, it would basically be an island for me. I guess it's worth it. I guess I should have taken it a while ago. Just treat it like an island. If there were an island right here that was worth two, for example this one, I would take it. So I kind of treat that as an island. Okay, this is what I, I knew would happen, which is that there are going to be rebels down here. I suspected that there would be more rebels than there have been, but I'm not complaining, I guess. There was one province over here that I didn't have cord. Do I have cord now? Hmm. Guess I can check. No. But it is Catholic, so I don't have to worry about uh, the rebellion as much. Um, if I remember correctly, the Iroquois have a very odd-shaped nation. Yeah, it's, it's all around the Great Lakes, so... Oh, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to click that. It's all around the Great Lakes, so there's... Now, I do believe I will be able to take all of their provinces before they take a solitary one of my provinces. In fact, I, I think that they, they just have... <laughs> what? 
somewhere in that whole war thing, I missed out. This this young guy. Ow. Balls. <laughs> this interface. I know I've griped about it a little bit too much, but <laughs> really need to change it. <laughs> needs, needs to make an auto invest. That was the battle down here? Okay. Um... I'm not go- yeah, see they took a lot of damage from that. And unfortunately our regulars took the brunt of it, not the mercenaries. <clears throat> so I'm gonna run back to where I was. I don't want rebels to spawn where I'm standing, and then more rebels to spawn where I'm standing, and then more rebels to spawn where I'm standing, and then get in this situation where I can never actually beat the rebels, like I, I was in a while ago. Okay, so this ship should be done. It is. And... All of those, yeah, all of these heavy ships that I built a while back are done. Still have no uh, no requests that I might consider. Okay, so that's all their provinces. I'm gonna go ahead and make peace. And I'm gonna core all of their provinces. What? Not gonna have enough. Some of these are really pricey. Means it's gonna core in two waves, which kind of, kind of sucks. Uh, not worth it to convert them, like I said, even though I'm like wasting a little time, it seems it's not worth it, because... This should make Spain really angry. Yeah, pretty big border friction. Now, did that give us more aggressive expansion over here? No, I don't think it did. Um, I, I don't think we're a max relationship with Austria anymore. Oh, wow. They're back to being friendly. And now these guys are cordial. Well, mm, we could improve relationship there. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. And it's almost time to go to war with Great Britain. Uh, we don't have the, we don't have the troops for it yet. But oh wow, Great, Great Britain. Great Britain has a border with France now, which means that France would definitely love to go in on Great Britain. Um, and we can make an alliance with them in a year and a few months. Um. Yeah, I th think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna wait uh, to get a few more troops. We may even wait a little longer, because... Well, we'll make the alliance with France and see how many people we can bring in. <coughs> <coughs> in the meantime, we're gonna try to spend some of this money. One way to spend the money would get up more expensive advisors. Um, I think I definitely would like the missionary strength advisor here, because I'm going to be using some missionaries. I like the trade power. And I like the manpower modifier. Um, can make a few more buildings.
Yeah, these are the same thing, basically. But Barracks, the thing that comes after this, is better. And it's not available because we can't build it anywhere, but... So we're going to build these even though they cost more gold, because the thing that comes after it is actually pretty strong. And then the rest of the money is going to go into heavy ship production. Because the British will have a fleet. And it will not be a piddly fleet. I'm not going to go for the East India Trade Company, because I don't have my capital in Europe. If you have your capital in Europe, and that includes if you're Russia, weirdly enough, Whoa, Russia, you have been very aggressive. And very successful in your aggression. And still not made Russia, because you don't have an eyes in. Um, well. <laughs> so, anyway, if you have your capital in Europe, which I don't, and you have explored around this horde, and you have a province over here, you can found the East India Trade Company, and that'll give you, like, Plus 20% global trade power. It's really powerful. Um, just really, really powerful. However, because I don't have that, I don't have to worry about the mercantilism caveat. You can't have over 25 mercantilism, I think it is. Someone might want to check me on it, but... Where, where do I see my mercantilism? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have very much um, mercantilism, so I'm definitely going to grab some mercantilism. I could go for another... I could go for another merchant. Definitely would like to become... a republic. At some point. So let's check out these provinces. Uh, here's a good one. This one's good. Definitely gonna want to grab this one. And that one. Okay. So what we're gonna do... Um... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and split this unit. Send the two here. The one here. Send to here. Oh, drats. Um, I forgot it takes a really long time to get there. Because it's not contiguous and it's on the other side of the world. So I need to remember, need to remember that. I, I need to be going in a contiguous manner. Even if it's just like have the colony and then just walk my way down. See, that, that takes half the time. Now, this colony should be finishing up soon. Um, probably only has a month. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk this one troop. I know it's a low chance he'll actually make it, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk him. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess it's gonna be two months. Our diplomat is back from improving relations from far away. I could go to war with Spain or Portugal instead of Great Britain and just try to take their provinces. Who are they allied with? Oh, well, I would be going to war with Spain, Portugal, and Great Britain. Because I don't want to go to war with Austria. Um, now, I could go to war with Great Britain and pull in a lot of people who don't like Great Britain, and I'd also be at war with Portugal. 
And I could take on a lot of Portuguese provinces. I could take a lot of Portuguese provinces, like these provinces. As many as I can take, as many as I can grab. The gold still hasn't been discovered in Brazil. There's almost always a gold, which means it could be one of these two. Which might make it worth it for me to grab them. Whatever. I could go to war with Great Britain and make a separate peace with Portugal. Like, crush Portugal. Make a separate peace with Portugal. And... Yeah, that, that's probably going to be what I do, actually. Need to build some troops. Um... I don't really have a good assault force because these guys are all needed on rebel control duty. <laughs> what I could do is have this be my assault force, except for the mercenaries. The reason I'm separating out the mercenaries is that they're less advanced units. Buy a bunch of mercenaries to be over here as the rebel control force. And this is pretty big. I don't think I need this many troops here for for these rebellions. Not sure. I'm gonna recall from here and send to here. I already have someone going there. That did not have a, a colonist. Okay, recall from here, send to here. No, this shouldn't take very long. Yeah. To stay actually gonna maybe beat here. I just went in the wrong order. My bad. Um, and I'm gonna leave the colonist there, because one aggressiveness means that I won't need troops there, if there's a colonist there. And I'll still be at five. No, I'll be at I'll be at five. So I wanted to be at six. I guess when this finishes, I can send I can send up here. Um, I could send here. I could send here. Um, it's an interesting trick I never mentioned, which maybe I ought to mention. Do you get a tax benefit if natives are nearby? So if, like, just an uncolonized native area is nearby, you get a tax benefit. So sometimes you could keep near very profitable provinces natives. I didn't think it was worth mentioning because it's kind of very fringe. Um, I'm gonna send to here. It's got a good tax. Like I said, the gold in Brazil has still not been discovered. So, might be there. And low enough aggressiveness, it probably doesn't need a troop if it has a colonist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna recall from here as well. Now I can't send to there. Even when this colony even when this colonist gets here, this has to be completed for me to send to there. So the best I could do is send to Oh That's a juicy province. Looks like it's Portugal's though. Um this will never be part of my continent, so I'm not that worried about getting it because it's overseas. Some of these were juicy, and I missed them. Spain. I'm actually going to send here. 
That has enough aggressiveness that it might need a troop, but I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Ugh, oh, Spain. That was supposed to be my province. Oh. Okay. Um let's see. Yeah, these should be done with heavy ships in any day now. Yeah. So these heavy ships are the the creme de la creme. They are the strongest heavy ships in the world right now. And as long as I have... <clears throat> Do I need this guy anymore? Okay, I'm gonna send him up there. I'm gonna want an admiral when I get into that war. I don't think I need 20 down here. So I'm going to separate out the mercenaries. And there's just going to be 15 down here. And these five are going to be part of that strike force that I was talking about. This strike force. I'm going to pick up some more mercenaries. Anybody who's any good. Almost time to go to war with Great Britain. Um, I should be able to make that alliance with France now. What? No, not until August. Um, wow. Um, I don't really know if I want to run there with them. Who are they at war with anyway? Brittany and some littles. Is Austria? Who, who's all who's all at war? So Denmark probably won't join my war against Great Britain, <laughs> <clears throat> and neither will France until their war is over. I'm sure that Austria would love to go to war with Switzerland. I want to get there before they convert them to English. I, the question is, do I make a royal marriage with France? And the answer is no. I have to go to war with France soon. What to do? Okay, make the alliance with France and see where it stands with Great Britain. Like, people going to war with Great Britain, that is. Okay, that's everyone. Everyone is now core, being in the make core process that can be. someone there to protect them. These will not necessarily always be... Oh wow, I can convert a province? Where? Wait, why can I do this? Oh, see, because I actually need to core this province. That means it, it's also probably true for this one. And it only costs 10, so I, I would be doing that. Do with some of this money. Let's go through the advisors. 
Missionary Strength, not the world's best. Production Efficiency guy could be pretty good. Um, I make a lot of production. He'll bump me by three. He'll cost 27. That's okay. Diplomatic Reputation guy, not better than Trade Power guy. Um, discipline guy, not better than Manpower Modifier guy. What to do with all this money? One more colony and I'm actually... <laughs> yeah, this is as many colonies as I can have. I guess I'm going to save up some of the money until I can build an embassy. Um, embassy would be pretty good because I have the extra diplomat and I want the extra diplomat. Embassies are very strong in Asia, where you have... I'm very strong in Europe. They're very strong everywhere, except for in this weird scenario where I like actually don't have a lot of people that I'm interacting with. If I were Austria, for example, or Denmark, I would care about all of Europe. And myself, I would care about the power in the New World too. If I were in Asia, I would care about so many more. Particularly for Japan, it's a really huge deal. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and offer them an alliance. They'll say yes. Did that piss off Austria? Maybe. Did that piss off these guys? No. Um. Now who wants to join me in my work in Great Britain? Everybody. Um. Everybody wants to join me in this war against Great Britain. <sighs> France, Austria, Denmark, and myself against Portugal, Spain, Netherlands. Netherlands is not is not a nobody right now. It has a big fleet. Um, and some troops. Okay, so against Great Britain, Portugal, Spain. Switzerland probably has a little bit of troops. I don't know where Friesland is. Now, it's possible that the Netherlands will back out because they don't want to go to war with Austria. And... I can make it because... Because Portugal will get called in by an alliance, I can make a separate peace with Portugal. Um... I can't think of any reason not to do this. I need a, uh, I need an admiral. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is buy an admiral. Okay, let's buy an admiral now. Let's buy a better admiral. Wow, I, I see them having, like, the best admirals. Well, here goes a huge amount of... Why is it giving me for shit admirals? Okay, here's a fine... Here's a slightly better admiral. Um, and I'm done paying for them. This fleet is... This fleet is just probably the strongest in the world. Um... 49 heavy ship is, is pretty strong. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, dock there, grab those two troops. Um, The reason I'm doing this 
is that these are going to be the troops that are going to work their way along the Portuguese coast and take um, Portugal. Because Portugal is going to come in on this war. Portugal's my rival. They're definitely going to come in on this war. I'm going to take a little break here. I know, I'm just baiting you guys. I'm going to take a little break here, and I'll be right back. And it'll be time to go to war.